Singapore, guys. We're gonna take a walk around here and take a look at all these big buildings and check them out. like neighborhood in the one of the most expensive countries in the world look like well you can look all around you and you will gonna see a lot of skyscrapers a lot of buildings high-rise buildings I don't know when they're gonna stop because like we've been walking for maybe 200 meters and all we've been seeing with like skyscrapers and skyscrapers and like buildings with a lot of vegetation inside because people love to combine vegetation and concrete here because they need the fresh air so it's pretty amazing just look at this place this is an old building in the middle of skyscrapers beautiful architecture a lot of people around and i mean not that many people around but definitely it's gonna be super busy in the morning tomorrow when it's monday and everybody's gonna come to work so it's pretty insane guys i like i'm almost like out of words the first time i'm seeing singapore here and the downtown looks absolutely speechless it's beautiful it's clean it's fresh it's no pollution great job singapore so guys this is lao Passat. this is the market area yeah. anyway here the people are coming to have some fun to have a coffee to have a beer to have some food more or less like uh, we had in the video before in the Chinatown but this time is like in downtown in the middle of the uh, buildings in the middle of the I would say business complex it's interesting so let's go through it and see what we can find like the Chinatown Hawker Center. It's another Hawker Center with a lot of food places. And I wish I would get something to drink because today has been a hot day and I know I'm a little bit uh, sweaty and sticky and I want to have something to drink to cool me down. So let's go find something here. In this Chalo. Area. Let's go. Chalo, Chalo, Chalo. First, the architecture of this place. Gigi, what do you think about it? I think it is beautiful. I think it looks like 18th century English, like even European style definitely. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm correct. I don't know, you guys tell me. A lot of people here enjoying the food, a lot of places to choose food from, like from desserts to full-on meals to drinks to alcohol, like beverages and a lot of pretty pretty things here. Um, just people basically enjoying uh, in their like Saturday, Sunday evening, going out with their family. And this is what we're gonna do. We're after eating in the Chinatown. We're gonna have here a little break, and we're gonna have some drinks or some beverages, something to pull us down right here in Singapore downtown business center, ultra modern luxury center here in one of the richest countries in the world one of the most expensive countries in the world i was talking about beer but this is better this is sugar cane juice and it's way more refreshing than beer so Gigi, there you go one for you oh thank you and one for me and now we have to find our friends pradeep and pradeep and sit down Which with them and have they're a drink. here <laughs> yeah they're not that far away that's good okay guys Oof, long day. Uh, the one in India is better though. For no reason. <laughs> I like the one on the streets of India, yes. Yeah. They press it fresh. This yeah. one is, eh, it's okay, but yeah. I don't know. I miss the desi taste, you know? Uh huh. Some interesting information from our friends Pradeep and Pradeep here. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, what was that, Michael? Can you please say it again? Yes, so here there is a lot of shops, especially for multiple cuisines. Uh -huh. Because here in this business center, mm -hmm. in this downtown area, there's a lot of people. And you have all sorts of nationalities of people, Vietnamese, Chinese, Indians, Pakistanis, Sri Lankans, everything. Bangladesh. Everything from everywhere. And even Europeans and Americans, they are working here. And so that they can have any kind of food they want. They build this kind of a marketplace around here. And they can come and they can have literally anything they want. Mm -hmm. There's an Indian food place, there's a Turkish food place I see, there's a Yong Tao, Sung Tao, Chinese one, there's a Korean one, there's a noodle one, there's a fish bowl noodle. Fish bowl noodles. Mm -hmm. Everything, 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 everything. For all kinds of people, yes. And this is the multiculturality of Singapore. Everybody is peaceful with everybody and they somehow coexist in the same country slash city. Do you think there is a, there are there any rules around here? Oh even there's a lot of rules. There's a ton of rules. <laughs> and there's, you cannot go like crazy on the streets. You cannot eat on the subway. You cannot drink on the subway. If you do any kind of this, I don't know, if you break these rules you pay a lot of money. So I think Singapore at some point is a nice country, but on the other hand it is rules and regulations. So if you break these rules, you're gonna have a bad day. If you follow these rules, which have they put a lot of thought into it, and they are as complex as you can imagine, then anything, everything is good. Thank you, Michael, for your insight, and thank you, Pradeep and Pradeep for drinking so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Man. Wow, that's a big fat. That's a big one. Intermission. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, the Prince of Singapore, he spotted in the sea something that looked mysterious and to him it resembled a lion. So this is why now to remember this story, this legend, people built this, um, this statue here, which is pretty tall actually. And it spits out water and it's an emblem of courage and excellence. Um, two very important values of Singapore. So as you can see it behind me, uh, it has the half, uh, bottom half is a uh, mermaid and the upper half is a lion. It's a mythical creature and it's one of the emblems here of Singapore. Many people come here to enjoy and to take a picture with the mythical creature that stems from legendary. This song is my, has my mother's name. Yeah. She'll be very happy. She'll say, you sing for me, right? 100%. <laughs> important place to visit in Singapore. I mean, when you Google Singapore, this is the image that you see. This magnificent building, which is the Casino uh, Marina Sands Casino, Marina Sands Bay Casino, yes. And it's basically three hotel buildings with a boat on top of it. And it has also an infinity pool at the top, which is the one that everybody knows. And this whole area is very beautiful during the day and during the night as well. They have a big high-rise buildings and the Fullerton Hotel who has been there since, I don't know, I think it is the British times. The British built it during the colonial times. As you can see, all the other buildings, they look futuristic with glass and uh, metal and in a cold way. But the Fullerton Hotel is very nice and it's looking old and majestic in between all these magnificent huge high-rise buildings which are all made out of glass and metal the hotel is made out of brick and out of marble and it's somewhat of a heritage thing that they still have here and they still use and I like this place in a way I don't know Gigi would you live here would you yeah because <laughs> it's an don't interesting twice it's an interesting country but it has a lot of rules and regulations if you do want to live here there's a lot of small rules that you have to follow but I don't know if it pays off all these rules it kind of goes against your freedom in a way a little bit but I don't know maybe this is just my point of view nevertheless what makes Singapore special is the diversity of the people and the friendliness of them and look Gigi behind us they started a laser show right in the nick of time we arrived here oh okay when the marina bay is lit up and they are showing some pretty lights for us so we will leave you with this wonderful view to end the video not with our faces anymore so subscribe like comment share the videos share the people like the information we have here live from singapore all the best. All the best. See you in the next one, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.